Creator 2.0 is arriving in just a week, and we have so much new stuff to unpack. This is already the biggest announcement in Fortnite's history, but also one of the biggest in all of gaming. For those of you that don't know, Creative 2.0 is essentially what any content creator wants, but also built for the casual enjoyer. It's a full landscape in which you can build anything you want. For example, you see this lake right here? Well, if you wanted it to be 10 times bigger and with Shrek in the middle of it, I guess you could do that if you wanted to. I don't know why you would, I'm not suggesting it, but, but you could do that. On top of that, you can actually make your own custom models. So for example, this whole rock design is actually a model in of itself. That's why you see a lot of the rocks being repeated across the map. It's because they reuse their models. All right, that's the basic stuff. We've been wanting this for a while. If you can't make your own models or at least customize the models that are already in the game, there really is no point. So thankfully, Epic Games hit that nail on the head. Oh, okay. Hey, bro, I'm talking about Creative 2.0 Vegeta. You don't have to worry about it, my dude. It's completely fine. Go back to Goku's thing. You're chilling, bro. You're, you're chill. Okay, it's a super sweat. Don't be a super sweat, chat. Don't be a super sweat. Yeah, okay, it's not a super sweat. Come here, boy. Anyway, there's a lot more than models that we can add. For example, the texture on the models is fully customizable. So as you can see, the grass actually has its own texture, but so do the models. Like this hay bale has its own sort of hay kind of string texture. The trees have a texture, like you can see, it makes it look like a more animated tree. Even the lights have their own texture. Literally everything is textured in Fortnite. But in UEFN, you'll actually be able to customize your own. So if you wanted to have a Mario animated style in Fortnite, so be it. All right, we gotta get these llamas real quick. We'll literally be able to add llamas with a completely different texture, but different colors and even make them look like realistic llamas. That would be really horrific to take a look at, but still. From my point of view, Creative 2.0 is bigger than any other game. All right, bro, come on, come on, bro, what you doing? Anyway, we could be seeing so much... Oh, thank you, dude. All right, this guy eliminated him for me. I'm just gonna be taking these guys out real quick. Appreciate that. Please, okay, my shots are really hitting. Okay, my shots, my aim is really, oh my gosh. Now, as I was saying, I think Creative 2.0 is going to be a lot bigger than just that. Fortnite Creative 2.0 really seems like an extension of Fortnite. But as I've been saying, with all of these new changes like custom textures, we could literally be seeing new creators making completely new games. Now, some of you guys may be wondering, how do I know all this? Well, on Twitter, Fortnite actually posted about this, announcing everything you need to know, including its release. There's also a blog post, which I'll show you guys right now, and it basically describes a little bit more in depth into Creative 2.0. Oh, hello there. I feel like it's going to be AI if he's here, but... We'll see. We have Mythics. We could 200 pump him. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna take that one. Overall, I'm really excited for Creative 2.0's release, but I'm also really excited to see what you guys make within Creative 2.0. From what Epic Games is showing, it basically seems like the capabilities are very, very close to endless. As I was saying, if you guys are worried about Creative 2.0 being too complicated, they're actually gonna be free assets and models you can use that are already pre-made. So it's not gonna be the most advanced for everybody. However, the tool set will be advanced quite a bit for those that know how to use it. And with that note, I gotta finish this game. It's a top four situation. There's a guy sitting in a save the world tower again. Again, uh, I also see a guy sprinting for his life. It's kind of crazy to think that Fortnite advanced so much from a zombie game to a full social and competitive game, soon to have its own awesome creative skill sets, or rather tool sets, which is absolutely crazy. Hit fire time. All right, that's it. We got to figure this out. There's a guy up there. There's a guy over there. There's some guy over there. Oh, no, no, he's gone. Never mind. We'll see. We'll see. We only have one heal. I don't want to use it just yet because it does give me the 200 HP. So, Let's see if we can just pressure this guy a bit up. 400 ammo, so we should be fine. This is more fun. I'm sorry. Oh, big shots. Okay. Oh, my. Oh. Huh? Oh, I'm so sorry to this guy. At the same time, I really am not sorry at all in one bit. No, you're gone. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. That was kind of epic, though. Um, It's all right. It looks like we're going to be on height right here. I'm just going to connect like that. Perfect. We still have plenty of mats. All right. This kind of brings me to FNCS. Whoa. Are you serious right now, bro? 